Our goal is to, as a mission, is to create and capture consumer demand wherever it is expressed across media and content environments. And so we're a performance marketing agency. We serve up biddable and programmatic search social mobile and display programs. We create content assets, own and earn assets for SEO and marketplace visibility. And at the end of the day, we're trying to help brands connect c consumers to understand their purchase decision journeys, um, to, uh, if you will, um, create demand for the brands we work with, and then manage those journeys to convert that demand into revenue for the clients we serve. Uh, in Indian market is incredibly important for us on three levels. One is um, there's a couple of hundred folks that are part of the Performix capability in India. So we have an incredibly large and dynamic team. It's actually the number one performance marketing group in India, now built out over time. Um, secondly, it's a fast growing practice and it's been growing in terms of the client engagements it has and the size of the business by about 30% a year. And this is for year on year over the last couple of years. Um, it's recognized in the marketplace to be a leader. It's award winning in terms of the Indian competitions are for marketing effectiveness and building brands and telling stories. And then the team here is really strong because it serves both local clients in India but also is a hub, a high performance hub, to serve our international clients who may need more help from the really high quality qualified talent that's in India. So India is really important to Performix overall and Performix overall is a company that has 2,600 employees and in 57 countries. So we're a big global operation and India would be incredibly important to that whole operation. Uh, it is one of our top five markets overall for Performix. And all together, we're in 57 countries, so that tells you where it sits. It is absolutely at the top of the set of markets that we have and a priority location for us. And a very dynamic one in terms of the work being done by the teams here. I think a couple things. First of all, India right now is the fastest growing economy in the world. So one, it's a great environment to be in. Two, it's got the fastest growing population in the world. And at some point it's going to be uh, have a bigger population as we know than China in probably the next 10 years. Uh, it's a place where there's all kinds of dynamic talent doing great performance marketing work. Again, for local clients and for global clients. And I think um, the, the upside for the team here is huge because I think in the Indian marketplace, digital is going to become more important, performance marketing is going to become more important, uh, more important leveraging data and technologies become more important. And I think our Performix team is all well suited in those areas um, to deliver on that. The type of work that Performix is doing in India, um, it includes paid search campaigns, it includes programmatic display campaigns, it includes mobile campaigns, it includes creating user experiences and the micro sites and website experiences that brands need to go to market, it includes the landing pages that you're driving traffic to, and then it includes SEO and content solutions as well. So really the practice here is driving um, strategies and recommendations across paid own and earn efforts to connect with the consumer and drive the outcome that we want for the clients we work with. The other thing with the group here is they're working with all different kinds of industries and categories. They're working with travel brands like Airbnb. They're working with financial services companies like American Express. They're working um, with travel entities like AirAsia. There's a massive number of brands they've won here and major brands in all categories that they're serving to grow their business. That's what the group is doing today. The vision for the future is that our entire enterprise is focused on something we call demand and response management. And the whole thought of that is that we're driving performance 
across all media channels, online and offline. We're leveraging the data from the traffic we generate to create personalized user experiences to then take that demand that we've created and convert it to a revenue outcome. So the vision for the business is end-to-end -end performance solutions across all forms of media content going forward. And we're building out the capabilities to do that. One thing is that all the research today has shown an incredible relationship between TV and search in particular. That people see something on TV, and they automatically pick up their phone or their laptop and do a search as a result of that stimulus. That's number one. Number two, there's all kinds of tools and data right now for attribution. So you can understand if someone read an ad in a newspaper, saw an article, saw a TV message, what their behavior is that happens after that. And in all those instances, we're finding out that that mass media, that offline media, has a direct impact on the online media that someone uses to convert to a purchase. So now with that mindset and capability, the goal we have as a practice is to understand all that behavior and then go to work on leveraging all those offline media investments to have them tied to the online strategies now to drive the measurable outcome. So there is measurement, but it's, it's available through media mix modeling and then through attribution measurement from one channel's impact on another channel. And the data exists to do that now. I, I do. I think you know part of the journey of the digitally fused marketplace is just the maturing of practices. And India is so entrepreneurial, so dynamic, so energetic, and all this new talent coming to market. I think things like attribution across channels is just about the maturity of the practice. And over time, with all the smart folks here and the tools that are available, that will be a capability that everyone will understand more about. It may be just the journey in the marketplace right now. Because in other more mature markets, attribution modeling is part of every engagement. So the agency was started um, in search, both SEM and SEO. Um, today, we package all of our solutions around performance media solutions, which is again, creating and converting demand across mobile, social, display, search, and offline channels. There's a huge amount of expansion right now in marketplaces and commerce environments like Amazon. That's a whole other channel to sell in now. And then equally on top of that, we've rounded out all these capabilities to do things within content and owned and earned environments. So we've moved from being what was once a search agency to now a full service performance agency. And in some respects, using all media and creative assets, just like a general agency would do, but applying direct response principles to it. So that's what we call demand and response management, and the goal is to make that the cornerstone of the Performix business going forward. We've been really fortunate. Um, Performix, again, like I said, is going on its 20th anniversary. It's been growing at a double-digit rate year on year. We've expanded now to have 2,600 people in 57 countries, so huge global footprint. We've made acquisitions in the past that have helped us be the business we are today. We made two in India. One was called Resultrix, one was called Combonix. Today we have this huge Performix business that's made up of a Performix.Resultrix unit and a Performix.Combonix unit. They both serve local customers and they both help us with global and regional engagements as well. So right now, I'd say most of our growth is gonna come from organic growth based on the teams we have in place and the build out of new capabilities like demand and response management, like offline media management for direct response outcomes, like commerce and marketplace environments. We probably will always think about acquisitions but we're very large right now. It's more gonna be about taking advantage of all the teams, the talent, and the assets we have today continue to, to, continue to grow at a fast pace. That's a really great question. I would say it would be one in maybe the analytics area because we 
can't get enough of the talent and teams that help us understand all the data that's available and how to leverage that for marketing performance. So I think analytics for sure and technology. I think capabilities that help us manage all forms of media or the personalized user experience on the other side would be interesting acquisitions as well. So entities that help us with our full media capability, entities that can help us with our being able to serve up personalized user experiences to the consumers we're connecting with. So there's always going to be an opportunity to think about acquisitions. I would, I would tell you that one thing about for Performix now is we are blessed to have amazing talent, amazing capabilities. And so I think, you know, we'll always look at that, but in a place like India, for example, we've got all the assets in place. Now it's about um, seeing those things brought to full life and enhancing what the teams are doing today, if that makes sense. Yeah. First of all, it's Performix overall um, is one of five publicist media brands. And so we're a global brand. We're also the branded practice across the entire group. So in India and the rest of the world, Performix gets to have two roles. We go out and pitch and win our own assignments as an agency. We support the performance needs of the other brands in the group that exist like a Zenith or a Starcom. So we have this amazingly great assignment. That's number one. Number two, if you combine the Performix presence in India between the two units, Performix.Resultrix and Performix.Combinix, we're number one in the marketplace in terms of capabilities and size of our performance team. And again, in combination individually, those businesses are growing very fast. Today, Performix.Resultrix, doing all forms of performance marketing and then reports and is aligned with the Zenith brand and helps support their assignments when it comes to performance marketing. And Performix.Combinix, doing local assignments as well, complementary to Resultrix and is aligned with the Starcom brand. Plus the Performix.Combinix unit helps with the international assignments through its performance hub capabilities. So they both are serving local business. They're both serving and helping other brands. They're serving local businesses and global businesses and they come together to share capabilities, to share marketing, to share selling strategy and all those things. So there's a steering committee that meets to guide the Performix practice everywhere and then those businesses run their own operations day to day. And it works very well because um, we've got amazing assets here and we're almost able to cover all parts of the market as a result. I'll say, you know, they probably tie into our agenda. There's probably three or four um, different things. So one is everyone is focusing on performance marketing. So even if you're a brand marketer, you're thinking about what is the performance I'm getting from my TV, from my newspaper campaigns, from my outdoor campaigns. So everything has moved towards a performance mindset. Two, um, we grew up as a performance media company focused on search and now search is taking on all new forms. Obviously mobile search has surpassed laptop search. You have things like these marketplaces like an Amazon that are becoming huge environments to sell in. You've got now the future will include voice activated bots sitting in people's homes that become an interactive way to do search and to buy products in a different way. So search is going through a transformation and the way brands are found has gone beyond just a Google and that kind of uh, uh, let's say historical search to whole new environments on the way products are being found and purchased. And then I think so much of the marketplace has been focused on media solutions and I think more and more of the marketplace is focused on content solutions and own and earn assets being leveraged to connect with the consumer to drive a purchase decision. And ultimately for Performix, the goal is to build an end-to-end -end revenue generation engine for our clients, demand and response management, where we're creating and capturing demand across media environments, across content environments, and then serving up the personalized experiences to lead to a satisfied customer relationship. So 
I think what you're seeing is the evolution of search, the build out of commerce marketplaces, and an environment that's moved from beyond just media solutions to content solutions as well. And it's very much in line with the way we're thinking about our business going forward. Um, over the last few years, really started in two marketplaces. One would have been China and the other one would have been US. And with entities like Alibaba or a Amazon, um, these became huge environments for consumers to transact in and in essence to find the products they wanted to buy. So as opposed to going to a search engine to find a product to buy, or going to a website directly, they were going to these marketplaces environments where all these products were available to purchase. And now in many instances, consumers are starting in those environments to go find what they want to buy as opposed to other landscapes. So demand is there, consumer eyeballs are there, and we got in early with Alibaba and with Amazon to go build out marketplace capabilities advertising um, opportunities on those sites, um, content and SEO opportunities on those sites. And it, what is a result of that, we're helping drive our client sales in those environments. And this could be a fast moving consumer goods company, a packaged goods company. This could be a consumer electronics company. And many cases, because those are buying environments, they're performing better than other search channels. So we've now built out capabilities in the US we built out capabilities in EMEA. We're building out capabilities in APAC. India is going to end up being a hub for those capabilities going forward. And so we would tell you in our new world, there's all the search social mobile we did and have done forever as a performance practice. There's the offline I talk about. We think the center of the storm going forward is these marketplaces. We think it's going to be one of the fastest growing parts of our business going forward. And so we're making major investments in that area. I think they're going to be now marketplaces and media publishers. So they're not going to take the place of the media publishers, but they're going to be standing up and competing with them for share of eyeballs and share of advertising expenditures. There's no doubt about it because those marketplaces have been now where products are sold. It's where all the major brands are figuring out in many places their online strategy, not only direct websites, but then in addition to in-store sales, having a physical presence somewhere online to sell more goods and services. Consumers are all going there. So my comment to you going forward is, I think they're gonna be very material. I think they'll compete with the publishers. They won't take away all their business, but they're gonna be absolutely alternative environments for the consumer to go to to find what they want. Absolutely. Yeah, they say that now more people start, more people who are making a buying decision start those searches at Amazon than they started on Google. That's what's happened. There's now more purchasing uh, behavior that starts on an Amazon than it starts in other channels. And we've seen the same thing in the power of uh, e-commerce environment like Alibaba. And every single brand that we talk about, the major advertisers we work with, are all trying to figure out their commerce strategies right now because they know that that's the environment where the physical meets the virtual and a place where they can sell goods online. So everyone's looking for strategies in those areas. So huge focus. Um, they're making real traction in the marketplace. They're proven environments for the consumer and they're proven environments for the brand. One of the things that makes Performix unique is that we have incredibly great talent that's joined us. They're all coming into the digital environment and developing their skills. And they're all seeking to do something and create value for the clients that no one else has done before. So there's a certain spirit we have to every employee that joins Performix. That said, you got more data than you can possibly imagine now. You need analytics, technology, and tools to manage that data, to have it flow through to a meaningful strategy and an execution and a plan. 
but you need the people that can interpret that data to understand it and tell stories around it. And that means the individual talent we have. So we believe that there's a science to performance marketing, which is based on data, which is based on analytics, which is based on technology and tools. But we also believe there's an art to it, to interpreting that data, to setting the right strategy, and then telling the stories surrounding all that that can lead to the next investment and plan. And so we think art and science, hands on wheels, you need both. And to be a really great agency, you got to have artists, and then you got to have all the science in place to go drive the outcome.